Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me Video Game Man is 15. We are back with another GTA 5 video. And you know we're almost done with this game. We just got I believe two or three more missions left and then we're all done. Oh I'm already down. I remember this one. What's going on here? Oh yeah. Door. Get it. Here. I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? Look, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that. <laughs> you know, Easy there. there. From the hood. Him, Stretch, and all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Well, what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You gotta help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, you know, Tanisha's trying to set Franklin so straight a little bit I'm here. I'm a Luminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you gotta marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you went and put on with... Stretcher set him up. Fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price after him. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me. Not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. All right, well, let's do it. Now, a lot of people don't like the um, relationship between... Um, Franklin and Tanisha because Tanisha shows that she has no uh, feelings for Franklin, Franklin what's up? Hey, man, but in GTA Online they end up getting married Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Okay, so here's my kind of thought on the whole thing on how, why Tanisha ended up, you know, marrying Franklin. Because, and now take this with a grain of salt, I don't fully think that it'd be possible or that Franklin would have that mental state as well like the other GTA characters here in the game. But I think that as, you know, he grew his fame and power. He wanted to take out the doctor that Tanisha was going to um, marry. And um, have a hit put on him, on the doctor. Get him killed. But at the same time, make Tanisha think that, Ah, my own husband abandoned me. And then she reconnects with Franklin. Franklin sweet talks to her. And then they get married, have a couple of kids. Now, like I said, that sounds really far-fetched. I know, I get it. But, you know, with the huge gap between the storyline of uh, Franklin and Tanisha, you got to um, take a huge grain of salt and um, give, like, what you think, you know, personally happened between them. Now... To me, I feel like, you know, as Franklin grew in power and in money, 
that he would be able to put a hit on the doctor, would be able to, you know, call up some homies or something to take the doctor out just for the hell of it. But, with that being said, I don't think that Franklin would stoop down to that type of level. Mostly because, you know, he's not like Trevor. He's not like Michael. Michael, you know, as we've seen, he betrays everybody and everything. Whereas, Trevor, he just goes crazy, insane. He might have, his heart might be in the right place. He might care about somebody. But he's fully crazy. He's like Jack Nicholson, but so. Now, I don't know. You guys give me your thoughts about the whole Franklin and Tanisha thing. Um, maybe even put down in the comments if you think that uh, my opinion on the subject um, can very well hold some water to it. Um, I know if the reasons that I just brought up on why it couldn't be um, would be very reasonable and the reasons why I say this could also be reasonable, it could be 50-50, but you all know what I mean. Here we go. Now, you know, Trevor has a right to be mad at, you know, Michael. Michael did stab him in the back and screw him and Brad over. But with them taking out on each other when Franklin needs them the most is not just unprofessional, but ridiculous. They sound like, you know, um, immature little five-year-old kids. Um, and you know kids nowadays do act like that. Especially if, you know, they got relatives or something. They like to bicker and just argue and say, No, I want this. No, I want this. And it's like, okay. Knock it off. Chamberlain gangster families for life, motherfuckers! But, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what game I should do next. I want... Streaming-wise, I want to do Red Dead Redemption. There's... That's... On Mac. Because I said that I wanted to do it for the PlayStation 4. Although, the PlayStation 4's version is more like a port, not really a remaster. Um... But I've wanted to do Red Dead Redemption for a long time, and... You know how expensive computers are nowadays, especially if you're a small YouTuber like me? It's tough out there. So, I'm gonna live stream Red Dead Redemption when we get Kingdom Hearts done, finished. I have to buy a PlayStation card, so, um, which I don't get a paycheck here in the next few days, because I work at a family dollar. Um, but, I'm hoping to kind of still do what I need to. Um, video-wise... I don't want to do Max Payne, simply because the professional recently did that game um, on his channel. So I've been thinking of a uh, LA Noir. I don't know if I said that right. Um, and uh, I want to say Watch Dogs was another one that I was really thinking of. Now games for Halloween. Ho 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 ho. ho. I got a huge lineup for that. I got Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I got Friday the 13th. I don't know. We could maybe do a little bit of Red Dead Online. If you want to see the online version of this, probably just go to my Patreon for the exclusive video thing that I will be doing. I haven't been able to get it done in through yet. 
but it's a process, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do, and, um, deal with the time that we can manage. Alright, gotta be careful here. Alright, come on, Trevor. Make something happen. Be useful for one second of your life. Here we go. We're almost done here. Uh, here. Oh no. Michael's almost dead. We can't have him die. Not like this. So, uh, get some guns. There and take those three out. There you go. Alright, you know, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, get away from the crime scene. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's just go, get a move on, and try and get Lamar back to his place. Trying to get out of here is the one thing I hate the most. Especially since Lamar won't get in the dang truck. Like, get in the truck. Get in the truck. <sighs> okay. Let's head out this way. Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or get killed, opportunity. Man, you always yeah. pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just yeah, Lamar's really parlay. stupid. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every need you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Sure? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No. I'm completely 100% sure. No. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh. Damn. Let's retry that again. I'll take Lamar. All right, I'm going to. Thanks, sneaky dude. I still ain't met your ass. I can take care of myself. Go. T, okay. Me, dog. I'm gonna come up to the unicorn to get horny on your office supply. Let's go. Again. And let's actually get to Lamar's house this time. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretching me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the missing. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No. I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, yeah. nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather, whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals mm. and the shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. This reminds me of the fight between uh, CJ and Sweet from San Andreas. Trust me. 
Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Seriously, dude. Do do. Everybody knows that, that you're going to... Uh, they just gonna I kill you. Overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Yeah. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? I, I, but tell me this though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal. Yeah, Grove Street Damn, was so? the stuff sense, back in the though. 90s, man, dude. Know him, man, maybe. man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. Know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping <laughs> like you did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dog. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. Mm. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> I'm not hilarious. Cars, you probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you would think huh. I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you See, they argue you. like brothers. Get ready, your white man God, homie. I'm going to the great plain beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. <laughs> Alright, well, we're almost close to the uh, location. I think that we get... Uh, another little cutscene, um, with, uh, uh, one of our enemies. But here we go, let's just continue to take that drive. Here we go. So I guess, I guess what we learned is... Nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but I was some real shit, my nigga. Uh, you know your nigga out here doing VAD, man. Why don't you sign me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, you know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back. But... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you. See, he didn't like that. Nigga, I thought we was homies for life. 
Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turnout for your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving a nigga in the back, Bill. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thanks for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Fuck you, Lamar. Nah, oh, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dog? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga. If you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, player? Man, Steve oh, Haynes and Dave Norman. Oh! 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 Uh oh. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all ass. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Steve Michael Haynes, the dirtbag. Trevor won't let him there. That's why it's up to you, homie. <sighs> oh, hey, was that? Lamar was listening. Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, lost an ass, nigga. Well, we got that taken care of, done, out of the way. We lost fifty bucks, but yeah, we're getting close to the end of the game. So, on the thing. It says that we need to kill Trevor. Oh, Jimmy. Talking about his dad in the movie. Oh, yeah. We should make that the uh, um, um, next video clip. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Yep. Trisha. Trevor. Oh, mm, it's good to speak to you. My thoughts are with you. Is he, uh, Mark? Is he treating you well? Have you ever? You're a sweet boy, Trevor. A sweet man. Patricia, I really miss you. I have to go. Oh. Uh, so sad. Thank you for the interruption. Our quick sponsor here is Patreon. Now, if you do enjoy this video and my content, go check out my Patreon page. Consider, you know, joining it. You get all three of these tiers here. Um... The Madness one here at the bottom, that gives you all the goodies. So you get look at my character analysis script, my analysis, uh, background video, early, as well as Madness Classics video, early shoutouts, all that good stuff. So if you do enjoy this content, go click the Patreon link down in the description below. Thank you, and we'll be back with the video. Here we go, we're at the clothing store. Got a message from Dr. Friedlander, the con artist, the pig. Trying to tell us to calm down and whatnot. And you know what that drug war mission? Or that DLC that brought the return of Dr. Friedlander. They should have brought Michael back briefly. Because then he could get his revenge on Dr. Friedlander. Because he said if he ever saw him again, he'd take him out. So, I mean, make something useful out of it. Did you find your size? Oh, cool, he got us a ride. That's awesome. Let's get into the tuxedo and uh, be ready to go to the film studio. And I like this part mostly because of Jimmy. He makes this mission um, 
fun a little bit. But I haven't done this mission in a while, so I don't really remember how it plays out other than we we have the chauffeur drive us to the movie studio. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get hmm. back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. Hmm. What's this chauffeur doing? And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo! Yeah! Hmm. You see the Street's Edge losers? Chisel in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Finewood? Hey, I hear mm. it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my <laughs> neck rolls. Entitled E. N T uh, Title Came and spell on title. Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Oh, Jimmy, Devin Weston. shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's that gives you a hint that something bad's gonna happen. We just don't know what yet. Pop, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, Come on. their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Come on, this is fucking ridiculous. My clients are here waiting, they've been waiting, and they've been waiting. Thanks, Antonio. Keep me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo. Laszlo, right there. Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking it! <laughs> Fuck you, baby! Sup, Solomon. He's still a success. Hmm. Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Uh, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame. Um, I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if. Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really? <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Herbert. Oh, my. Flying, okay? That's great. I never had surgery. Come on. Milton. Milton, hi, sorry to bother. There we go, Milton, the guy that we had to uh, get from Rocco. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. I just have a hug. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. Run. <laughs> huh. The hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. 
We gotta go save Tracy and Amanda. Come on, the girls might be in trouble at the house. See it there, Devin wants to set a hit out on our family. Now, if we told Trevor about this, he would kill Devin without even thinking twice. Because he, you know, cares about Michael's family. He saw them grow up. He ain't gonna do anything if I gotta say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Yeah, let's hope so. I guess we'll see when we get in here. We're gonna get there. Merryweather. The guys they all sent right, to you, us you were met Merryweather. Shoot. Get the girls. Daddy's home, you oh no. Oh, I shot Amanda. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, that was sloppy of me. Very sloppy. Ah. Uh, I take full responsibility for that one. Use a pistol. Alright, we got him. Now we gotta go save Tracy. Alright. Come on, Tracy. Get your head out of the way, please. No. Oh, he shot Tracy. Oh, no. <sighs> Damn. Third try is a charm. Hopefully we get this time. Please, let's get this time. Here we go. I think I remember this now. I think the only reason I failed twice is because I haven't done this mission in a very, very long time. There you go. Okay. You just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Yeah, we gotta take these guys down out. Our way. So let's do this thing. And we gotta be careful here because of the uh, grenade. Now let's take out these Merryweather punks. Oh. There we go. Check out around here. Careful. Got him. Got him too. Alright, take these guys down. And get that health pick up. Here we go. Okay, keep on fighting one way or the other. Come on. Come on, Michael. You got this. Here we go. Alright. Now let's take him out, which we did. Now I gotta take out these Merryweather guys. Come on. There we go. We got a guy over there, which I heard that he fell, but I don't know if I got him fully. So let's finish out these last few Merryweather punks. There. Now let's go to our family. After this mission, uh, I think we got a few phone calls, but after that we'll probably call it, you know, a night. I like this part of the mission, it's hilarious. 
a way to make fun of uh, Call of Duty right there. <laughs> I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good though, huh? Listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay quick. There we go, mission passed. We didn't do so great on there, but it's okay. We completed the mission. That's all that counts. They came to my house, Lester. My house. So I asked the man and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Perry Weather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Or is Devin Weston? I ain't looking for respect there, Lester. They came after my family. All right, right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, oh, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right, well, that's taken care of. All we got now is a, a couple of phone calls that we can make here in the game. So let's call Devin Weston first here. Mm. Hey, you missed the show, buddy. Trouble at home? You came for my family, asshole? Oh, I thought going after women was fair game. Molly died in an accident while following your orders. And I'm sorry for that, okay? Well, accidents happen, don't they? Hey, send your private army after me if you have to, pal. I won't be hiding. Okay, now I think we can call Solomon. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There we go. Capitalism depends on one thing and one thing only. A steady supply of idiots. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, I can't place it. Meltdown, of course! Michael, what happened? You weren't at the party. I didn't even get to the screening. Devin Weston made things personal. Look, you gotta stay away from me for a while. Is this about Molly? I'll call you in a few weeks when this thing dies down. It was great working with you, Solomon. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. So there, Michael's doing that to, you know, protect, uh, Solomon. But I think, I don't think we can make any calls here for right now. Yeah, so that's all for today. I will see you all on the next video. See ya.